Um, hi, I'm Thomas Parisi. I'm here outside Route 101, one of these lovely places here in Keene that accept Bitcoin, Dash, and other cryptocurrency. Today we're going to find out how to deposit and afterwards spend some of our hard-earned cryptocurrency. Hi, I'm Thomas Parisi. I'm here with Chris in uh, beautiful Key, New Hampshire. And what's the name of the store? Route 101 Local Goods. Okay. And what is this machine we have in front of us? This is a crypto vending machine. This is a device that allows you to purchase different cryptocurrencies mm -hmm. with U.S. dollars. So instead of going to an online exchange and hooking up your bank account and sending them money or giving them access to your bank account, you can just put cash in and cryptocurrencies will come right out. Ah, okay. Figuratively speaking. Figuratively speaking. Yes. And um, how hard is it to get uh, money from point A to point B? Well, when you're using Dash or Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, it's very easy to send from one person to another. What is unique about cryptocurrencies is it's truly person to person. If I send you money, Mm -hmm. um, we can exchange addresses, I can send you some cash, or some Dash, or some Bitcoin, I should say, and uh, you will receive that money pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. If somebody comes into our store and they pay for something with a credit card, it's going to bounce around between banks and credit card clearing mm -hmm. companies and all sorts of people before it finally gets to me. So typically, I don't get money that people uh, will use when so you're purchasing with a credit card for two or three days um, after the transaction. Hmm. When I receive money uh, with cryptocurrency, I get it in a matter of minutes, and that's it. Oh, okay, yeah. so a lot less hassle than the conventional yes. means of, of, yes. of economy. And so, how does one engage with this machine right here? You just did step one, okay. which was press anywhere on the screen. <laughs> Thank God I passed that. That's all right. At this point, we have two different options. You can buy Bitcoin or you can buy Dash. And you can choose one you want to go with. In this case, Dash? Sure. So that's it. You have two choices, buy or go back. Go ahead and say buy. And you can look at our terms and conditions, mm -hmm. it will take anything from a $20 bill on up. Okay. So $20 is kind of the minimum purchase. Okay. At this point, you just say, I agree, if you agree with everything. I hope I agree. There you go. So now we have another picture here. Okay. And then... And yeah. that's this right here. Oh, okay. Good. What we're going to do is we're going to show the address from your digital wallet that's on your phone to the machine. And as quickly as that happened, mm -hmm. uh, it read your address. Oh, okay. Good. And now it's waiting for you to put in cash. And now, so now, this doesn't look like cash entry. That's the that cash does. entry. And does it take it anyway, or? It's pretty much. It's uh, got a really good bill All right, good. And there it goes. It shows insert cash so far, mm -hmm. $20, which will give you 0 .01 dash. Ah. If this is all correct, and some people like to check like the first four digits of their address on their phone and the yeah. last four to make sure it read correctly. Yeah. But we've never had a case where it didn't read correctly. Yeah. If that's all good, <laughs> then just click on buy all coins. All right. And that did it. Now at this point, you can press this button and get a printed receipt. And now I did hear they have this uh, dash back still going on. Yes. What is dash back? Uh, a really interesting program that we're involved in. So when people purchase things and they use dash, mm -hmm. the buyer will receive extra dash back in their wallet. So if you buy something for, say, $5 here, uh, you might get, you know, a buck or something like that back in dash money. Mm -hmm. um, we, as the vendor, will also receive the equivalent amount, so it's a bonus for us to sort of promote it, mm -hmm. um, but it's really good for people to use, and we've seen our transactions in Dash have passed a number of major credit cards. Uh, the Dash has yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's it. And, uh, well, corresponding with this, 
Um, basically, what does the screen mean? Is that right now, it's just showing you that your transaction was completed. Mm -hmm. um, we have a transaction ID, which is on there, that allows us to look up transaction if there's ever a problem, which there rarely is. And if that's all complete, then you can just hit the Done button. Mm -hmm. Now, what we should do is take a look at your phone. And here you're on your Receive screen. But if I go over to Balance, we see that you received point one zero three five seven two point one zero three five seven two dash mm -hmm. less than a minute ago and oh. that's already in your wallet and it's ready to spend as quick as an atm right there uh, almost almost as fast yeah dash coasters we got hats hats we have earrings what else do we mm, have dash earrings <laughs> Do we have dash? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, oh, that one's Ethereum, Doge, Coin, and Bitcoin. Uh, but it wouldn't surprise me. Are they, they, are they people? Have you ever seen people wearing them yet? Yeah. I've never seen anyone wearing them, but we have <laughs> sold them. So oh, okay. Kind of I also have a collection of hats. Um, and there'll be more things coming when we continue to open up the Bitcoin embassy, which will be here too. Mm -hmm. will feature more crypto type gear in that space. And the Bitcoin Embassy is going to be in this space here? Correct. How are you going to configure it? Yeah, uh, it's going to be kind of interesting. So we're redoing the layout of the main showroom to absorb what's been in here. As it turns out, we end up with actually more shelf space uh, by doing some different things with shelving. So we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very open. Uh, there will be various displays set up that will be geared towards consumers, towards businesses, towards people that are interested in mining, and there'll also be a classroom set up. So we will have, you know, chairs. Uh, we'll be able to do sit-down classes of uh, 15, 16 people. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be able to do presentations for 24, 25 people. So if we get speakers in and things like that, um, and we'll have a very large uh, screen so we can even do Bitcoin movie nights and things like that so we've we have a lot of ideas for that and there's a lot of excitement within the community uh, about what we're doing here it's the first of its kind in New Hampshire yeah. it's the second really second or third of its kind in the United States and there's about 10 Bitcoin embassies active around the world everywhere from Perth Australia to Amsterdam to Warsaw Poland to Paris so it's so, going to be one of those, it's going to be among the big the big dogs. We hope so. Uh, yeah. we, we hope to promote it as an educational center, a place that people will want to visit to learn about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. And how soon do you think that you'll have it up and running? Within the next month or two. Okay. Yeah, cool. so we're, we're getting close. So stay tuned for that.